Hey, I'm Tatiana. I am the imperfect minimalist. I try my best to live minimally, but I'm imperfect about it. So here we go. This is a video for you if you are planning to deliver your baby in a hospital. I actually plan to deliver my baby in a birthing center, which was in the same area as a hospital. It, um, there were different floors. So there was the birthing center, and then there was a labor and delivery center, and then there was the NICU. And I went through 47 hours in labor, and I actually had to visit all three levels, and I met all of the doctors and nurses there at the hospital. And I had to pack prior to going, so I didn't know what to expect. I overpacked, so now I've simplified this list so that you can be prepared for whatever happens. You can do it so that you don't have to overpack, and you can be good to go. So let's get into it. The first thing on this list is a bag. So a hospital bag, it does not have to be a special bag that you have to buy. It can be any kind of bag that you have. Um, you can use a backpack, you can use a big cooler that might have some rollers on the bottom. I mean, that's what I did. You can um, use a small suitcase you can use just a duffel bag, whatever type of bag you have. And if you don't have a bag, I would encourage you to go on like a buy nothing group on Facebook, or you can go on the Facebook marketplace and look up some bags. You might be able to buy one for like 10 or $15. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Yes, buy used or borrow. Okay, so this is my backpack. I've had it for several years. I love this backpack. It just has um, a couple of small pockets right here, and then it has a bigger pocket right here. It has this outside pocket so I can carry the slippers or the sandals, and then I can put socks on the side. To organize your toiletries and your clothes, I would highly recommend packing cubes. I have used these for years. They have a handle and a zipper, and um, it's just really nice to organize your clothes. It's easy to grab if you just put it up on a shelf, and you can um, separate your clothes from your toiletries inside your suitcase or backpack. So grab yourself some of these and try them out. I think you will love them. The next thing I would pack in my hospital bag are clothes. You need one outfit to go to the hospital and you need another outfit to return from the hospital. And then also you need a couple of outfits in between in case you have to stay longer than you expected. The next thing that I would pack in my hospital bag is a toiletry bag setup. So your shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, toothbrush, oh, and don't forget your floss, hairbrush, and you might want some kind of makeup just to, um, light makeup just to kind of refresh your face if you want to do some photos or some videos. Other things you'll want to take in your hospital bag are chargers, so your cell phone charger, your camera charger, a tripod for your camera, and if you want to, you can bring your laptop and your laptop charger. Uh, my stay was for seven days, or actually I was there for nine days. So it was really handy while the baby was sleeping to catch up on my YouTube videos and start editing. If you like to take vitamins, take your vitamins. You don't know how long you're gonna be there for. I would take about a week's worth of vitamins just in case. The hospital had meals and I thought they were very good, but I've heard a lot of stories that the hospital meals are horrible. Um, so you might wanna bring some snacks. So the next thing you wanna pack in your bag is a bra that is easy to sleep in and easy to go around in the day with. You can also breastfeed in it. I don't like the uh, nursing bras that have the clasp. I think that takes too much time to just put up and down, especially if you only have one hand. I like these ones that juice you just flip 
and you're ready to breastfeed. Right after you deliver, you're going to be leaking all over. I didn't know about this. And so there was milk trailing around all of the hospital. Oh my God. And then there were stains on my dress and you could obviously see that I was leaking. It was a little embarrassing. Um, but anyways, I have these eco nursing pads that I got on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, if you want to buy new, that's up to you. I just wash things and I feel good about it, so it's fine. You can actually make these if you have any extra fabric. Um, you can sew the outsides. It seems pretty easy. Something I couldn't do because I don't have a sewing machine. Some people bring some sort of focal point when they're in labor. They want one thing to look at so they can concentrate. So it could be like a star. When you're in labor, you might feel nauseous. I would highly recommend bringing some essential oils, the peppermint and lavender. Just mixing them can make your nauseousness go away really quickly and it also smells amazing. All right, so let's talk about some things that are already provided in the hospital. First of all, you wanna call up the hospital or talk with your nurse or doctor uh, at your next visit, like what kind of things they already give you. I made a quick list of what the hospital usually provides, so I'll just go through them. At the hospital, they will give you these. These are like underwear that, um, they're wonderful. They're great after surgery. They didn't hurt my incision or anything. These don't hold up very long. So after a few washes, you do have to throw them away. Grippy bottom socks. I had two pairs. I had one for my husband and one for me. The floors are really slippery at times. They do give you socks at the hospital, um, but they're really big and they might not fit your feet right. Okay, here are the socks that I bought on Amazon. I'm gonna put links in the description box below for everything that I'm talking about on this video for your convenience. If you click on the link and buy something, I do get a small commission, but it supports my channel. If you get any value out of this, that's awesome. Um, so these ones are like kind of yoga socks and it on the front it says happy and then on the back it says be amazing and all of these are gripped so that they're non-slip and um, they also have a pull tab so that they're easy to put on and off labor gowns so for the de delivery and labor part you, they're going to give you these gowns and they're kind of weird and they're open in the back and that might make you feel uncomfortable you can go on amazon and you can order specific surgery gowns that um, have buttons on each side so that you can um, breastfeed and they also have buttons down the back in case you need an epidural like I did. Just be prepared for all situations. Get the gown that will work for the nurses. They do provide those clothing at the hospital, so if you don't wanna spend the money, that's totally fine. You could totally do without it. Pads, cooling pads with witch hazel, pads to put on the bed, sheets, Towels, blankets, swaddles, baby beanies, diapers, wipes, rash cream, nipple cream. When you start to nurse, it can hurt and you might get chapped nipples. But I learned a little secret. If you just use your breast milk and put it around your nipple, that works great. Belly band, meals, water, ice, yoga ball nose pump, nipple shields, pump accessories, burp cloths, thermometers, baby soap. At the hospital, they had this Johnson & Johnson baby wash, and that was pretty good. Even for me, after having a C-section, my incision was pretty sensitive, so I didn't use any antibacterial soap. You can't anyways. Usually they don't give your babies baths at the hospital and I would recommend waiting. Uh, your baby has some special 
uh, layer on their skin that protects them. So you'll want to delay the bath as much as possible. I was in the NICU for a week, so more towards the end of our stay, we did a sponge bath and they provided everything to do that. So don't bring any bath stuff. Bottles, bottle warmers, bottle nipples, pacifiers, and they have them in single use packaging. They're made of silicone, so I just wash them and reuse them over and over again. But my baby loves these and he's tried all the other pacifiers that I got, didn't like any of them. He only likes these ones. So if your baby likes a specific pacifier, hold on to those and take them home with you. Ice packs, warming packets, breast pump, hand sanitizer, you know, it's everywhere now and so you don't need to bring that unless you have um, a specific hand sanitizer to not dry out your skin. I usually use this raw sugar hand sanitizer because it's non drying and I didn't bring this and my hands were just like so red and cracked and like bleeding. It was just awful. So there you go. I'll also put this list in the description box below for your reference. Okay. Welcome to our birthing center room. So come on in. <laughs> like we have a nice tub here so I can relax that we can do some nice hydrotherapy and for some relief we have a bathroom. And it looks like it's a king size bed. And I have this rocking chair right here just to kind of relax. And then after we have the baby, the baby can go here. We have a mm -hmm. huge screen TV. And then we've got all our monitors and all the necessities over here. Also have a little couch over there. Um, behind all their stuff okay so that concludes the tour thanks for joining us another item you'll want to bring to the hospital with you is a nursing pillow this one is called a boppy there are different kinds and you know those babies they're small and light but after nursing for a bit your your arms get tired and it's nice to have a little bit more support also, um, if you have like a smaller pillow even to like lift it a little bit more, that is helpful. And when people want to hold the baby too, it's great for them and everyone can use it. It's not just for nursing. The next thing on the list is some sandals or some slippers to get out of the shower. The next thing you want to put in your bag are some sort of electrolytes. So you do get pretty dehydrated while you're in labor. So I actually brought electrolyte drinks in plastic bottles and I think that was overboard. I could have done with just the small electrolyte packets and just put it in water. All right, after you deliver your baby and the hospital gives you the okay to go home, you'll want to have your baby outfits. So I would recommend bringing three outfits and here's why. You don't really know the size of your baby until he or she is born. So get a newborn size and then maybe one for three months because there's variations there on how the clothes will actually fit your baby. I spent probably five minutes trying to put on my baby's outfit for the first time. You know, I'm, I'm a new mother. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to like get it on without uh, annoying the baby too much. And then I hold up the baby and he poops everywhere. It goes all over the outfit. I have to change the diaper. Anyway, I was super happy that I had a second outfit for that occasion. The um, really small outfit actually didn't even fit him. Another thing you'll need to bring to the hospital is an infant car seat. I have the Chico Key Fit 30 and it comes with a base that you install into the car pretty easily. And then you can just click in and out of the car and directly into the stroller. Congratulations on your pregnancy and I wish you the best for your delivery. 
All right, mamas, this concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by tapping the subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of the very next video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.